Hey, my name is David Ubita here with the one and only, the multi-talented, the <laughs> legend to be, Dr. B, Laura Miyagi. How are you? Thank you. I'm very well. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so I'm so glad Dr. Biagi just had a few filming sessions here as she's preparing for the TEDx talk, and I wanted to just grab her mm -hmm. and ask her some questions as she's uh, going to be speaking next week to a sold-out crowd. Sold out, so you have to live stream it. <laughs> Are you excited? Are you nervous? Tell us a little bit about what's going on through your mind right now. <laughs> yes, I'm very excited. I'm very grateful. I am a little nervous. Um, most of all, I feel really happy about it. Mm -hmm. Happy to have the opportunity to share a message that is important to me, mm -hmm. and I'm happy to be here at DePaul to, um, you know, have access to this opportunity. Sure, sure. Yeah. So, as a facilitator here at DePaul, your classes are full. They're vibrant. Your students love you. <laughs> what are some things that our TEDx viewers uh, can expect when they hear you speak, probably for the first time? Yes, my um, talk is a bit of a hybrid, so I come in, um, I don't want to reveal too much, but sure, sure. I come in wearing a mask, I'm going to reveal that, and <clears throat> I am going to use the TED Talk as a rite of passage, and what I mean by that is that I'm basically going to walk the talk, so what I'm talking about in the lecture or in the talk mm -hmm. is what is happening to me right now. Oh, wow. And so it's a transformative experience for mm -hmm. me and I hope mm -hmm. that the audience will perceive that and uh, receive some of that healing energy from it too. Sure. Yeah. Now the theme of this particular TEDx series is reimagine, is that yes, right? Yes, it's reimagine. Okay, yes. and so what's, what's, what's that all about? Well, reimagine um, for me is about using narratives, so using stories we tell about ourselves and others mm. as a tool for empowerment. Mm. So the first step into doing that is realizing that we always create stories about sure. what happens to us, about our family, about our culture. And sometimes the stories may not be particularly empowering. Mm. And so as a storyteller, I have this great blessing and gift of knowing that any story that we use about ourselves is either empowering or not empowering. Sure. And so reimagine is about that. It's about how do I become aware of the stories that I'm telling myself and I'm telling others too, mm. and how can I reimagine a plot for my life that is empowering and successful? That is so powerful. Um, wow, that's good stuff. One of the things I love and appreciate about you and what you bring to the table and what our TEDx viewers and fans around the world can 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 walk away with is you're not just a theoretical person your PhD obviously you're you're educated uh, at the top of you know what our society deems as you know educated right you've got a PhD you've got this theoretical background but you also have rolled up your sleeves hmm. and gone to different parts of the world you were in India for a time right yes tell us about that India was a, a very transformative time in my life. I was blessed to be in a school and ashram um, with people from Tamil Nadu who um, have been practitioners and teachers of yoga for generations. Mm. Um, it's what is called a guru chela, which is the womb of the teacher. So that ashram was really a place of culture and mm. care. And um, it, they taught me a lot. They taught me how to breathe. They taught me how to feel. They taught me how to manage my emotions and become emotionally intelligent. Mm. And this was really powerful because when I got to India, um, I was in a cultural shock. Um, I was immersed in a small village culture and I didn't realize that a lot of things that I was doing as an Italian, like crossing my legs and gesticulating a lot and having mm -hmm. crazy hairdo, mm -hmm. um, was actually not really acceptable there. Mm -hmm. uh, was considered threatening and challenging. Wow. And so I was really grateful to my teachers that wow. they, um, you know, respecting my personality, but still helping me to navigate mm -hmm. uh, the culture. And that really has informed my work as a multicultural consultant as well. You know, mm. we're learning on my skin what it means to not belong and how just by braiding your hair in a particular way or immersing, immerging yourself in the culture can help you bridge a gap, a cultural gap, a little better. 
Wow, that's powerful yeah. stuff. Well, thank you again thank for you. taking the time to, to chat with us. Guys, <laughs> yes, make sure you, to David. check out the TEDx <laughs> talk, which is happening on next week, May 1st, right? Yes, yes, and next catch Tuesday. this up and coming <laughs> rock star, do her thing. Dr. B, any last words before we wrap this session up? Uh, just smile, breathe, and connect with each other. All right, there you have it, guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs>